Ladies you know and gentlemen, Whoa. holy introducing shit. the Bex Pass. Dude, imagine imagine that day. Imagine that day we sell out the the fucking the Staples Center to do no, a Bex Imagine Bex the show. day I finally see Limp Biscuit. I still have never seen them live. Neither have I. Neither have I. I will um, fucking go to jail that night, Calvin. I do no, not fuck care. yeah, dude. Hands down, dude. Like, fucking I'll be when, fucking uh, stone holding like glass bottle beers and fucking just dude fuck, when Cambodia knows, comes on, dude. Fuck. Oh, bro, dude. No, if they play Boiler Room for any reason, oh, which which, which they never play that song live, but like you know did. what I mean. No, um, I was gonna say before I got hit with the chocolate starfish, um, I was gonna say who gets regular sick anymore. You know what I mean? Um, like just ever just since... weak just weak people like you. Wow, dude. Like what was like <laughs> ever since like the start of the pandemic, right? It's like COVID or, or bust, right? And so yeah. it's like that's that's the name of our mixtape. <laughs> COVID or bust. <laughs> um, but like you know, everyone stayed home and like people were wearing masks, everywhere, so you don't get no one gets regular sick anymore. And then surprise, surprise, last weekend I got regular sick, and I'm still like recovering from it. Like, yeah. like how that so so I say this. Yeah, listeners because sorry for the late episode oh um, yeah like, like i said we're trying to be back on the week to week basis trying to be more consistent uh, mm-hmm. but, but your boy got sick so well and the funny part that i love about it calvin is that like you know you have a nice dump truck got you the work truck. out mm-hmm. you're fit you've all yeah. you like you eat you eat like exponentially like i never well, i've never used that word in the entire like history of the show <laughs> you eat exponentially better than i do right and I've had like maybe like a sniffy nose for like two yeah, days, and, and you're like you're exposed to way more people than me. To, yeah, well. exactly. And like I, I don't know, man. I guess it just sucks to suck, dude. Like, wow, dude, don't hit me. Oh wait, oh wait, oh wait. I guess we should we should we could use the most offensive gamer language. Uh, uh-uh. Get good, yo. Okay, so I'm gonna say this later in the show because we're gonna <laughs> talk about it. But I used get good yesterday on a dude, and it was oh hilarious. no, it was hilarious. But anyway, we'll talk about it later. You're because- you're so mean. <laughs> Welcome, <laughs> welcome to this new episode of Pex Pals, the only Apex Legends podcast for the mediocre gamer. My name is Cal Van, my boy here, uh, the chocolate starfish, hot dog flavor water boy here, if you're watching on YouTube, is up? Mr. Worldwide himself, Joel Cupcake. Yeah. Check us out on all of the social media accounts at Pex Pals Podcast. You can also email us for any business inquiries or just enter general questions, Apex questions, uh, mm-hmm. at Pex Pals Podcast at gmail.com. Check out our website as well, pexpals.com, to see all that stuff there and listen to it, uh, the show there. It's, yeah, it's already there. You don't, you don't want to go to a browser or anything else. It's Open there. a media player or anything like that. Yeah, it's all there. It's all there. Uh, we got a we had a nice, uh, fun episode today. Uh, we're going to talk about some new things um uh talk about like the the new character that just dropped or you know what our reactions to it um we're gonna talk about uh ranks we're gonna talk about some characters and whatnot but first and foremost before we do anything Anything. joe cupcake what is your weapon of the week oh my weapon of the week my 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 well you know one thing we haven't been talking about is armed and dangerous is going on right now great limited time mode was one of the ones that Nobody thought it was going to be brought back, uh, but it's basically sniper shotguns for all yes. you COD Shout aficionados, um, you Halo <laughs> veterans. Yeah. Oh, yes. That that game that never yeah. gets spoken about on here. Halo Three. Uh, okay. Fuck. Fuck the new Halos. Halo Three. You're right. Okay. You're right. You're right. So, anyways. Um. But yeah. So been playing a lot of Armed and Dangerous. Also nice. with like the gun rotations for this split. Yeah. Um, the Eve Eight's one of the gold guns. It is. Um, I mean, man, I was playing Armed and Dangerous with uh with uh Fuck Dan and one of our other friends Dan. the other night. At Tech Fuck Dan. We had, we had a we had a long night of like uh, I lost a lot of RP, like so much <laughs> to the point where I'm I, I might go open a beer at fucking nine in the morning. Love that. Um and uh we popped in some Armed and Dangerous for like forty five minutes afterwards. Man, we won a game mm-hmm. and it came it was it was it was two, it was Dan and I, it was a two V three V three. Okay. And we won. Oh, because Dan popped off with the PK, Fuck but all yeah. these dudes are rushing around trying to get like trick shots off the rock with the PK <laughs> and like, and like missing me. And I had a mm-hmm. red shield, but man, I pulled out that gold Eve eight with the digi thread on just ADS Yay. and just was like perfectly like just chipping away at them. And then Dan would just dink, dink peacekeeper, Perfect, finish all of them dude. off. And so like, 
you know, I and and you know, I I love the Eve Eight. I'm still a, a, a proponent of it. I, I supposedly it's one of the guns that's actually getting another. That's it's getting buffed back up a little bit. Oh, like, I know that like the beak is viable, especially because it was used in ALGS a little bit for sure. But like the fact that everybody just avoids the Eva like a fucking like the plague. Like I think in ALGS, I think like one person used it, like literally, and right. I mean out of like all like. I don't mean the top 20 final teams. I mean, I got of all like 80 teams, one person used that weapon. Right, right. So, which is unfortunately, as we've come to kind of tell, that's how they balance the game a lot of the time. Is, is that's off. true. Yeah. Like half of it's off the pros and half of it's off the puppies. You know what I mean? They're so, not even. No, it's 90% pros. I know. I know. I, was, I, was, I meant to laugh, but I kind of had like a little ice coffee came back up because I was so disgusted <laughs> with myself. Um, but no, <laughs> yeah. Right. So so yeah, the well specifically the gold Eve eight, okay, but okay, yes, yeah. the Eve eight is my weapon of the week, um, and also part of the reason it is is I think it's one of the best guns you can you can land on. Oh, for if sure. You, if if you're fighting and you're like if you're fighting someone else with light armor, yeah, you just get that Eve eight and you just let it rip. Like yeah, you, that because you can get three pump to the body, dude. Yeah, you can get like a good pull off before the other person's ADS. So if your yeah. second shot hits or your team fighting, dude, I mean as caustic. That's my favorite gun to put it to put a digi threat on. Okay. Because if they're pushing into my gas and like they're committing to fighting me in my gas and I and I'm even I'm evening them, nine yeah. times out of ten they get dropped. Oh, I hands down. Hands even down. If, even if I get dropped, my gas will finish the job. Oh, we'll finish them off for which, sure. Which means I've won the one v one and done my part of the team job. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, hands down, dude. But what about you? What about you, Cal? How I know you haven't been playing too much today. So oh, this, or, week, or yeah, this week, this week, this week, because you weren't because you weren't feeling too hot. Um, um you know what? Uh, I'm gonna and th- this has been like a uh, like a reoccurring thing for me, or not reoccurring, but like a a lasting thing for like the last two weeks or so. Um, mm-hmm. <clears throat> but I've been playing a lot of Mad Maggie. Um, okay. Only, be, only because my friend King asks me to play Mad Maggie, and so I'm like, okay, I'll play Mad Maggie. Fuck it. And of course, with Maggie, you got to use a shotgun. Um, well, yeah. And I'm not going to say the PK. And I'm not going to say the Eva. Fucking beak, beak, motherfucker. Oh, beak, amen. beak. Listen, man. Uh, and not just because of Maggie, but just in general, dude. Like, and uh, like the beak gets no fucking credit. Like, no, with w- even without the hammer points, beak does 45 damage. Mm-hmm. It does 45. Like, that's huge. You get, what is it? Eight rounds? Six, six rounds. You six get six rounds. rounds, uh, 45 damage. And then if you get the hammer points on it, yo, like, yeah. dude, it's like people, people don't, they can't react fast enough to get knocked by the beak. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. cause I mean, I, I'm a, we're, we're beak veterans. Yes. And so are. it's like, it's like, once your shield's done, dude, I'm dropping you. Like, yeah. like once your yeah. shield's done, exactly. I'm, I'm not even, I'm putting that whatever gun I have out first, it's going away. Beak's coming out. Mm-hmm. And yep. You're getting fucking dropped, dude. Can't, I, yep. I'm so efficient with the beak. I drop people around the corner. I drop people like distance away from me because I know how good the beak is. Because the mm-hmm. spread, the spread on the beak is so tight compared to all the other everything. Shotguns. Everything, yeah, yeah, everything, yeah. It has, it has, it has. The only thing it almost has a tighter spread than the triple take, which is insane to say out loud. Well, no, absolutely, because the triple take, you have to even choke it. The beak is just there, like. Yeah. It's such a good gun. It does not mm-hmm. get enough credit. And and hopefully, uh, like after the AOGS thing, people like like really appreciate how strong yeah. the gun is because whomever I don't know what the fuck goes on. I didn't even know they did it until you told me. Yeah. Um, but it's such a good gun. And then and then people don't realize two things about it. Number one, if you ADS, the choke gets tighter. The okay. choke gets tighter, number one, and number two, it's an automatic gun. Mm-hmm. You hold the trigger down, it just keeps shooting. Yep. Like you don't have to spam it. It's just boop, boop, boop. like it doesn't yeah. shoot fast, but it's like it's there. You know, and a lot of people don't know that. We've had multiple people tell us from watching the show that they learned the beak was an automatic weapon or semi automatic yeah. weapon. Yeah. Like, or no, no, sorry, an automatic weapon. I don't know why I said semi. My, this coffee's still kicking in. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. It's an automatic weapon. Like, no other shotgun does that. Yeah. No other shotgun. Most, like, like all, only the submachine guns and the ARs do that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like, it's an automatic shotgun, automatic exactly. handheld shotgun that does increased damage to the body. Like, mm-hmm. it's an insane gun. Insane. Yeah. And remember, because it's a, it's a one handed weapon, if you crouch an ADS, 
you don't get oh. the movement speed penalty like like the bigger guns give you like yeah. the Eva gives you like yeah, because you're no. not holding it with two hands if you play maggie if you play maggie you have to run the beak yes okay i get it the pk you get that fucking 101 pop right and they're fucking done right i get yeah. it right i get it but the beak dude the beak you're just so mobile yeah. you get so many fast shots dude like it's it's the gun dude well it's well i gun. mean dude I mean, dude, I, I love it. Like if we're, if I'm playing with some homies, the number one thing that always gets the, oh my God, or like the laughter out of people mm -hmm. is I'm running the beak and we see a team that doesn't see us and I get a whole clip and I down a person. Yeah. I'll down one person with just the, the full six shots from the beak, with, yeah. even if they have purple armor. Yeah. And people are like, did you just beak that guy? And then I just start cackling like I'm yes. a fucking, like I'm in fucking hocus pocus. You know what yeah. I mean? No, like, like people don't know how to have how to have fun. Yeah, dude. They people don't, don't know they how to have fun. Like well, and, and, and and what oh go ahead. No, I'll say like we I've said this before in like earlier episodes, but like there's a reason why there's other guns in the game. You know what I mean? Like there's a reason why there's other guns. If they wanted the game to be fucking boring, right? <laughs> they would only put two guns in the game. Yeah. Right? They would only put two. So you so you can carry yeah. two. But like yeah. There's so many other guns in the game and they're all strong and they're different suits, you know, different, you know, capacities, whatever the hell. So I'm just using another yeah. fucking gun. Anyways, yeah. Mozambique. Cool. Mozambique is my weapon. Uh, uh, you know, and you know, Cal, I'm just going to say, say, I love it. I love it. Yeah. Oh, like, it makes me so happy. And we both chose shotguns this week. Love that. Right. It's the first. That's fucking sick. Yeah. That's fucking, well, and you know what, dude? You know, let me touch on both of the guns we chose. Okay. Calvin, because the last couple episodes, you know, I talked a lot about ALGS. We've been bringing up the pros or big streamers a little bit but like you know and that's my bad for deviating you from not me, you yeah i know whatever 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 i was about to fucking say that's my bad because we're a podcast for the average for the average gamer the mediocre, the mediocre player. gamer not now, now listen now listen as a, the mediocre gamer i don't hit all my shots mm. so the, the guy that was running it in algs he was running spitfire beak yeah now, do you know want to know why i love that combo as a mediocre gamer calvin Tell me. You have room for for, for like you for know error. you can you, you can error correct yeah because the guns you have enough clips in the mag and the guns mm -hmm. fire slow enough oh mm -hmm. I missed that shot I can I can move yeah me for example like and I've said this before on the show I have, I'm not coy about it I fucking suck with the R99 <laughs> am I am I disacknowledging its power no right I know it's still top five if not top three strongest guns in the game oh yeah but it fires so fast. If you miss, you're like you're not gonna you're not gonna break or down the person. Right. Absolutely. It is what it is. It is it is what it is. But with with the Spitfire, mm -hmm. we talked about this in a, in the episode we did with the alternator came back. Mm -hmm. The alternator is great because the ray of fire fire is just slow enough, but it hits hard enough. You can miss a bullet or two. Yeah. You know, Spitfire's like that. Beaks like that. Eva eights like that. Dude, the PK you only get five shots, and it's not it's not an automatic weapon. Right. You know. Yeah. Like, so. It's not even semi-automatic, right? You know, like so you have to hit those shots. We've all yeah. been in the fight where, like, the oh my PK just hit for nine, and then your team gets rickrolled. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like because you couldn't clutch that one v one, which is fine. Right. It yeah. happens, but like, you know, the guns that get, give more room for error, like, don't be afraid. who fucking cares yeah. if your favorite streamer doesn't use them? Who cares if your yeah. friends are like, oh, like you you fucking nerd? You want to know what I've been doing lately, Calvin? What? I think one of the most underappreciated things in the game right now is mm -hmm. the fucking rampage with the thermite grenades. Holy Yo. ball sacks, dude. Yo, like that... on, on, on drop, on rip, I've been finding that and running that. And it's like yeah. easy, instant KP, oh, especially yeah, against people with like white shields and stuff. Oh, dude, hands Holy down. Holy fuck, dude. Yeah, it rips, dude. That gun rips. Anyway, yeah. what's your weapon of the week, listener? Hit us up, like I said, on all our social media accounts, Pex Files Podcast, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok. We're back on TikTok. We're doing TikTok things. Um, we are TikTok so, things. So, Joel, lead us into our next segment. So we so so this last this last week and a half, two weeks, whatever you want to call it, doesn't matter. We are a little behind, as Calvin said. Thank you. For, sorry we for are. that, everybody. We are. Um, we had a new series from the Outlands um, outtake, which is like that's basically like the lore trailers that we get. You know what I mean? Where they're specifically about one character, um, mm -hmm. uh, except for Lifeline's case, where it was also basically about Octane, but that's a different situation um and then we also got the hunter launch trailer that's the next season um so we are getting a new character her name is vantage mm -hmm. in the series from the outlands trailer um 
uh, her mom, and I'll get into this. Her mom is basically a prisoner on a prisoner ship. Mm-hmm. And apparently, uh, it seems like she was a prisoner and was pregnant. Gave birth to her daughter on this planet that the prison ship crashed on. She raised her how to, how to hunt, and you know she kept t- kept telling her like, "Hey, you know, like what's the, what's the number one, one rule? It's to survive." Yeah, you know, she taught her how to use this new sniper rifle that we've never seen before <clears throat> that she found on the ship she was a prisoner on. Um, she does not seem like she was an IMC prisoner. IMC seems to be the main group of, of bad people in the game. Yes. Yeah. For those of you paying attention to the lore stuff, she is actually, it's interesting. And this is why I'm very curious to see how this goes, Calvin, because she is a prisoner from Gaia. Gaia is one of the planets in the Apex universe. That is the planet that Caustic is from, mm-hmm. where he died because he knocks gas the whole city as an experiment. Right. To see how it would kill people. Yeah. So she's a wanted, her mom's a wanted criminal from the same planet as Caustic. So I'm sure that's going to tie in a little bit. Okay. For those of us, you know, not everybody geeks out about the lore like I do, but, yeah. you know, so there's that. Um, it, and then, you know, in the stories from Outland's trailer, it ends, you know, she goes and she finds the ship that her mom crashed in. Her mm-hmm. mom told her, don't explore it. Like there's ghosts, leave what's dead, dead. She goes in and she walks up to the, the, the console, gets scanned. It scans her and thinks she's her mom because they must have enough matching DNA or body type mm. or something like that. And then a bunch of automated arms come out, like trying to grab her to put her back in the cell. Mm-hmm. She shoots a bunch of them, fights a bunch of shit, but the ship reactivating the rumbling, it's like stuck in a valley on the ice. Right. And so it shakes loose. She falls out. In the midst of all this, she saves a baby bat. Okay. And the baby bats like acknowledges that like, oh, you're, you're being a kind soul to me. Right. So basically she has these whistles that she uses to communicate with her mom so that the creatures don't hear their voices and attack them on the planet. She, she, she falls out of the ship. She's like bleeding out. She can't get the whistle off because she's bleeding out. Right. And so the, the bat flies the whistle to her mom. Her mom comes and finds her and she goes, well, forgive me. Like now you're going to know the truth, but this is the only way to save you. Right. She has like a prisoner transponder button. And she puts it in her daughter's hand and hits the button. Mm. And then in the in the Hunter launch trailer, which is that's uh, the next season is going to be called Hunted or Hunted, Hunted, mm. not Hunter. Sorry, Hunted. I couldn't read my own handwriting. Jeez, okay. please. Um, you know, basically she's coming into the game. She's saying, "I don't know what you're talking about. My mom's innocent. We're from that planet." Mm-hmm. She's naive. You know what I mean? Sure. Basically, her mom called her. Call, her mom, the, you know, her mom got caught. Her mom's in jail. Yeah. She's in the games. Uh, that's like the punishment, I guess. Um, the, the story actually didn't give us that much detail on what, what happened from that point. Sure. But um, you see Horizon being literal space mommy and like taking her under the wing with Fuse. Yeah. Kind of cool to see some of that. And you see her struggling like, I shouldn't be here. I haven't done anything wrong. And they're like, right, oh, great. Right. They're like, oh, great. Another one of these. You know, everyone's kind of like, Ugh, another Same one, you know. But then um, she slaps her little fucking, her little uh, Dragon Ball Z visor down. Yeah, and and I think it's 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 we, we don't have the patch notes yet. Looks interesting to me. I'm a big fan of this, but looks like her passive is supposed to be when you look at somebody, you see the character they are and how much health they currently. Oh have. yeah, yeah, I saw that. So supposedly she gets her passive. Supposedly like is like you get a HUD interface, but it gives you more than that, Calvin. It gives you the character they're playing. Mm-hmm. It gives you the their their health or you know their health slash shield bar. Yeah, but then it also tells you. If the other two teammates are alive or not. Oh. So like it's supposed to kind of be like Ash's passive mixed with like some of the details you get from like Crypto or Seer. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, that's dope. Which, which is interesting because she's not a recon character. She's an assault character. Sure. And then um, you see a part in the clip where they're repositioning it. They rebuilt, they rebuilt Cage. That's already been announced. That's one of the things that changed. You cannot go in the upper part of Cage anymore. No, oh, So weird. the whole like just sitting up there with a Watson and or a caustic that doesn't, you can't do that anymore. Oh, you can't do this. Like Pathfinder zip to the top. Um, I think, I think they, they, they just kept talking about how there's too many places in that map where you get caught mm. basically. And you can just get sniped to oblivion. And I think the devs don't want that. Um, I don't but know, either it's not the devs. It's not the devs. Well, it's whatever. Pros. Well, no, that's what the pros like about that map. This is oh. they can just, they can just murk people at a long range. Yeah, I don't, that's so why I like really, that area too. There's yeah. really only two safe rotations on that entire fucking map. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's basically, if you go through the entire middle of the map, like you're fucked. Yeah. You that's know? true. 
Uh, anyways, anyway. anyways, anyway. So she, so she, the bat, her little bat. Um, it, we know it's a bat because the creature's name, the pet's name is Echo. Okay, mm-hmm. flies up and then she locates it, and and then the bat basically like tells her it's a safe place to snipe from. So she has a little jetpack and she flies up to the bat. Yeah, that's cool. So it seems like her tactical is going to be like a reposition where like, oh, okay, if there's a if there's a safe landing point, you know, yeah, she can transport to where the bat is. We'll see if that's real or not. Yeah. Um, her name is Vantage. That's the name of the ship that they were they were captured on. That's mm-hmm. where she gets the her, the character nickname from. And then uh, she pulls out that new sniper rifle. Yeah, and uh, it it's looking like her her alt. We've heard a lot about this character leaked over time. There's a lot of mixed reports. Her ult, in some way, shape, or form, is a sniper rifle. I we've seen a couple different reports. Um, what it's looking like is you snipe the person, they get highlighted for your team, and for like five seconds, they take like ten or fifteen percent increased damage. Mm-hmm. And apparently, you can keep sniping them, and every time you hit them as vantage, they take more damage. Oh, but I I really like. I, I was thinking about this, and I was like, I'm not going to play this character. Like, it doesn't fit my play style. Yeah, you know, what I, you know what I mean. But but it's more like me. Uh, but well, yes, yes. But now that I think about it, I'm like, well, wait. That passive, looking at a character and knowing if he has two homies around or not, like that. That alone, regardless of the character, what what the character type is and the health, like that alone is worth it. That's why a lot yeah. of people love Ash, you know. Yeah. Um. So that that's good. The reposition with like the little bat thingy, mm-hmm. if that's if that's the real ability, seems interesting. But you know, I don't always rock a long range gun. That's true. Because that's not my specialty. Right. But this can change that. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm I, I inadvertently, right I, I inadvertently try to like get the side angle sometimes. So if, if you can hit somebody with that, that one, that one shot and like they're revealed for five seconds for the team or something yeah. like that, it just, it just adds a new dynamic to the game that I think is cool. Yeah, no, absolutely. I agree. I agree. I agree. Um, yeah. So that's exciting. I'm, I'm excited about yeah. a new gun. I'm excited about a new character. Yeah. And, and I said this yesterday when I was playing with my, my friends um, that like I'm throwing this out in the universe and I say this every single time, but it never happens. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, you got to be good with that one. Hold on. I, I, okay. I'm excited about the new stuff, right? Mm-hmm. But I hope they take a break after this new stuff to fix the old stuff. And like I say this every time, it never happens. Wow. Um, but like I'm, I'm like I said, I'm stoked. I'm stoked. New character, new gun. It's going to be great. Um, but like, yeah, yeah. Anyways, yeah. anyways. Yeah, well, no, I think, I, I think, I think it's, I think it's, I think it's, the, I think it's her gun. I think it's oh. her, I think it's her ultimate ability. Like, oh. like the, the leak I've seen is that that sniper rifle, you don't have to have your ultimate charge full. One bullet is 20%. So as long as you're at 20%, you can pull it out and like, mark somebody mid fight or get or put the damage buff on them oh it's not a new not a new floor gun no well i mean it could be oh but why would they add a new marksman or sniper when we they need to take the g7 out of the care you know what i mean well i mean because well i i would say that the marksman classes are lacking i would Um, i would agree and 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 even if they brought the g7 out still lacking Mm -hmm. because because the triple take is fun, but it's not viable. <laughs> um, the 30 30 yeah. is fun, but it's not viable. The true, bow true. is kind of meta, but it's not viable. The bow right? needs to go on the fucking care package, dude. I'm the just bow, the bow is still incredibly strong. It needs um, to, they need they either need to nerf the fire rate or put it in a care package. Like it's right. just not it's it's an insane insane weapon. Um but like those guns, right? They're there. But mm-hmm. none of them are viable, right? Yeah. None of them are like, like you need to have someone on the team needs to have one of these guns, right? Yeah. Because yeah. you could say that about sniper rifles. Someone on the there there it does make sense for someone on the team to have a sniper rifle, right? Um, because they do tons of damage. They're very yeah. oppressive, right? And each one has their own strengths, you know. Mm-hmm. The well, charge especially rifle. on World's Edge or King's Canyon, I well, agree. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, like the longbow has the fire rate, right? The Sentinel has the punch, mm-hmm. and the the charge rifle has the oppressiveness, right? And then, yeah. and then, and then of course, the Kraber. Um, but like those three guns, you know, they serve a purpose and they do yeah. they do a good job at what they do. But Correct. the marksman guns are just like, 
fun guns, you know, like, yeah. like they're, they're there. They're like, why would you choose? Why would you choose a 3030 over an R301 for mid range? You know, like, why would you choose, uh, the, the G7 over the R301 for mid range? Right. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. the, the DPS on the AR, uh, on, the, on all the ARs is just so much higher yeah. than the marksman gun so it makes no sense True. and then and then yeah the dps might be higher on the marksman guns for the sniper rifles but the sniper rifles punch harder like yeah like they have that punch it's it's like it's like the argument of pk over eva 8 right the eva 8 has the higher dps because it does you know you shoot more per second you can do more damage per second because of the the high fire rate and the more mag mm -hmm. the more rounds in the magazine but the people the reason why people pick the PK over the Eva eight is because it has the punch, yeah. right? Yeah. And so, like, like that, it none of them, none of the marksman guns have that. Yeah. And so it's like, you know, I hope it's a new marksman gun. I hope it's a new yeah. marksman gun that everyone can use because there needs, yeah. there needs there needs to be more diversity there. So yeah, well, all signs are pointing to it being a new um I believe it's a it's a three round burst energy gun mm. so we're supposed to be it, getting it a mid... like that in the video no 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 no. i'm not talking about the video that video like i said i'm pretty sure that that what we saw in the video that sniper rifle is going to be part of her her personal kit uh... now now if it's not then yes you're right we're getting a new marksman weapon which i don't agree, disagree with you hey let's mm -hmm. let's let's rock it i'm down yeah. i'm down for one that functions kind of like in between you know what i mean that has a little bit more functionality and a little bit yeah. less punch yeah you know something kind of in between a marksman and a sniper you know yeah. Um, but you know, as far as new actual weapons, I keep forgetting what it's called, but looks like we're supposed to be getting a three round, like the, tr basically an M16 from other shooters. You right. Know? It's, a, it's a three round burst. It takes energy. It's supposed to be, a, it's supposed to basically be like, oh, they, we, they, oh, we know no one's using the hemlock. Use this, please. Right. Or something. Yeah. You know, or, oh, we know we, we know we fucked up the triple tech. Use this, you know? Right. I mean? Yeah. Right. Um, but either way. These trailers both are cool. I, yeah. I think add a, I think adding a sniper character is nice for the people like you yes. that truly love the marksman long range stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, also think about it. If you have someone where you know you can make them take fifteen percent more damage, you hit them with the alt, then you pull out a charge up sentinel, they're dead. Oh yeah, done. Like that's a that's a two piece situation. Oh yeah, Huge. which I mean, you could still do with two headshots, but sometimes that's not easy. Right. No, absolutely. Absolutely. So, so I love it. I think the the whole like you have the bat goes and like scouts the area for you, and then you can you jetpack to the bat. That's an interesting physic. Yes. Don't know if it's real. Um, yeah. But if it, what whatever they're doing, obviously has some sort of like mobility as as the tactical, which I think is interesting that we'd have a non a, like a non aggressive tactical. Right. You know, most of the tacticals aren't movement, like just horizon. Yeah. And I guess technically Octane with the stim, you know. Sure. And Pathfinder. But like well, I mean, yeah, but his whole thing is movement. Like he doesn't even need to be in the conversation. Right. You know. Um so so you know, I like where they're going. This was like one of my favorite looking trailer. This was probably my favorite looking trailer yet. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Um it wasn't my favorite trailer. Like I think the I still think the one with the down beast was like probably like the oh dope. shit, this is tight. Yeah. yeah dope. Um but I'm I'm really excited for what's coming, and then I really hope this character does mix up the game a little bit. I know a lot of people have been consistently bitching about Newcastle, Caustic, and Gibby being fortified. Yeah. And this character, if the sniper rifle really does those things where they, they take more damage after being hit by her ultimate, then this this could be one of those things that really helps bring a little bit more balancing to the game. Yeah, I don't think I, she, I don't think she's going to mix up mix with the meta. I hope she does. I hope, I hope she, she does. I hope she changes the meta, but she won't. And no. and it's funny we talk about that because um, uh, recent stats came out shows that Newcastle, the the latest character in the game, is the least picked character overall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and whereas you know Valkyrie, Octane, uh, and like what is it, Wraith, and are, are still like in the top three, right? Yeah. <clears throat> um, Octane makes sense because all the Call of Duty bros played Octane because they like the stim burst. Um, the uh of well, he's also been... a no-brain character no yes, no disrespect true. it's true no 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 it's absolutely true um the uh wraith has been a the top pick since the fucking start of the game mm -hmm. um and valkyrie obviously hands down the best character in the game um and so but and then but so newcastle comes in 
Newcastle is a defensive, fortified, uh, support character. And mm -hmm. people don't like to play that. And so, um, and he doesn't really shake up the meta. And he's of a, a weak Gibby. So it's like, um, you know, it's like, why would you pick uh, Newcastle over Gibby? We saw some Newcastle playing in LGS, but it's just not enough to, to bring him up to the yeah. top. And so I, even if the only, re the only way a new character comes into the game and people play them is if they're broken, right? Yeah. I when e Seer came out. I.e. Seer, i.e. Horizon, i.e. Valkyrie, right? Yeah. When those characters came out, they were broken. And that's the only reason why people played them at to mm -hmm. a large extent. That's the only reason why people played them. Um, and then once they all got patched to be not broken, except for Valkyrie, they went right back to the meta characters. People cannot help but play nope. meta. And it's annoying and it's boring. Um, yeah. So unless she comes out and she's absolutely broken, she's not going to change the meta. No. You heard it. She, she'll, probably, she'll probably be a menace in pubs to the people that are good with her, like the people that are that have the accurate abilities. But like sure. you can say that about any legend. Yeah. I mean, we ran into some Maggies that are like, what the fuck did she just do? Right. Or you run into a Watson that knows what the fuck they're yeah. doing. Well, and that's the other thing is like Newcastle, if you look at the shape of his wall that he puts down, Mm -hmm. It completely covers the Watson pylon. Right. But so why would you make his his ult symbiotic with a character that you wish it has a better, bigger, better pick rate, but doesn't? Right. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's cute. It's cute in theory. Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> so, know? yeah. So unless she's broken, she is not going to change the meta. Absolutely no. not. No. But, you know, no. you know what? She, she might be one of those characters where she slides into that. Um, you know, people are saying like a lot of the reason Wraith is, is the highest picked is because she's a selfish character. She does nothing for the team. Absolutely. And so so Vantage sounds like, especially with the bat reposition and the data, mm -hmm. like like if you're the last person left alive and you see that and your vi your passive will tell you that someone is a solo. Mm -hmm. I mean, hey, that that seems pretty promising. That's see, someone that's the, always trying to clutch up. Here's the thing, though, is the reason why Octane and Wraith are are such high picks it's not just because they're they're they, you know like they they do things that are self-serving but it's because they avoid damage better than other characters same sure. reason why pathfinder used to be a, a fan favorite is because he can avoid damage and and wraith disappears octane fucking gets the fuck out of there pathfinder mm -hmm. also gets the fuck out of there she doesn't seem to have anything that gets her the fuck out of there right yeah. um uh, and so that's what I'm saying. She's not, she's like I said, unless it's like broken. <laughs> yeah. She's not going to change with the meta. She's yeah, not. I feel that. Yeah. And, no, and, I agree. And that's what I'm saying. Like, like, um, the only people that can do that are the devs. And they're, they're I mean, what are they going to do to Valk? Even though our two suggestions from the show last week, like, right. she's still going to be a high pick rate. Well, that's what I'm saying. There is no character better than Valkyrie. None. No character better than Valkyrie. There is no character. Better than Gibby, right? Besides mm -hmm. Valkyrie, um, for but for different reasons. Um, there's no character better than Gibby, right? No support character better than Gibby. That's for damn sure. Um, and <laughs> and there's he's not even no, a support character, which is the funny part. Right, right, exactly. And there's no better defensive character than Caustic. Yep. None. And so there, like, you cannot shake up the meta unless you do something. That either one neutralizes all that shit, number one, yeah. at, at, at a viable rate because crypto does, but it's not viable. Um, or two, does something that all three of them can do, but better. Yeah. So. Well, it's fun. Funny you bring up Caustic because I was playing with Dan the other night, and he's like, "You better not do that shit." I always see you doing. I'm like, "What the fuck are you bitching about now, Dan?" And he goes, okay. "Every time you get in a, you get in a fight, like you, when you get when you panic, you throw your minds down." And I'm like, I'm like, Dan, when your character has only been has has just gotten a recent nerf after fucking 12 million seasons, mm -hmm. don't don't correct me until that's happened. <laughs> I was like, because the reason I do that is because I used to be able to turn around and throw my mines and slide like crouch down a hill and the yeah. mines covered me because you couldn't shoot them once they were activated. You couldn't take sure. them out. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, 
So, so don't, don't get fucking started with me. You know what I mean? So, but they're, they're making these subtle changes, but yeah, they're just, it's, it's just, it's not going to work, man. Like, they're, like, work. like you said, the meta is not going to get switched up. I do really think it is tight. I really did love seeing that team of Valk Watson and Newcastle in ALGS. Like sure. that was my favorite group to watch because I was like, this is f- different. Cause usually what people are doing is they're pairing the Watson with the crypto because yeah. then nobody can like surprise nuke them with anything after if they figure out right. what the crypto is, you know? Right. So I love that. But you know what, Calvin, like my, the, the next thing I wanted to bring up is, uh, on the note of meta is the fucking hot take. Mm. I'm so tired of people saying lifeline is bad. Mm. Hot take. I have spent, I have spent half this season playing her. her. Mm. I maybe I think I've spent more time playing her this season than caustic. Oh, like, like if I'm seeing more people go back to octane. Okay. Everyone is of course running Valkyrie. Yes. You know, Seer is a good oppressive scan character, just like mm-hmm. Bloodhound. You know, he's, mm-hmm. he's, it's funny because he's, he is great defensively and great aggressively. Offensively. Yeah. Yeah. Like he's, he's good at both. Crypto's only really good at one. Bloodhound's not good defensively. Right. I mean, he is, but he isn't. Sure. You know? He's only good defensively for, on a psychological level. Yeah. There you because go. There when you go. scan people, they're like, oh, they can see me. And then they don't. Yeah. Ex- exactly. So, so, you know, I mean, when I when I see my team, if if we're it's if the first pick is a movement character, I don't pick caustic. I immediately know like this guy wants to be hustling and bustling. Sure. So I'm gonna pick lifeline. You know, like people are discounting the fact that she still does two reses at once. Yep. The the longer reach on her drone is amazing. Yep. The, the, the fucking the if you get good luck with finding ultimate accelerants or a gold helmet. Yeah. You can get a lot of care package out of out of her really easy. That's true. I mean, we had a game where you know that building at the very edge of fragment that zip lines up towards like the launch balloon in yeah. grandma's house is, yeah, yeah, what yeah. I, is what I keep calling it. Um that that building, I mean, we had a game where we had a Loba and me and I believe a caustic, and I was mm-hmm. lifeline. Was it mm-hmm. was it a caustic? I don't, I don't know. know. But either way, just just Loba and I alone. We, we were able to hold that building. We wiped three fucking teams that attacked nice. us. And in that amount of time, I was able in two rings to get four care packages out because wow. of the Loba store. Yeah. And all of us left with purple or gold armor. Yeah. Every time you drop a lifeline care package, you get a guaranteed two bats, if not more. Right. And the smart loot system attached to the lifeline care package got buffed. Yeah. So it's like people are discounting that, you know? And, and also, yeah. like, if you're with an Octane... And you guys are jump padding, and both of you get put, get two of you getting like two of the teammates get knocked mm-hmm. as lifeline. Like, yes, you don't have the wrist shield. Yes, that sucks. Sure. But if that team that down to you doesn't have a movement character to chase or, or can't chase well, yeah. If you're lifeline with the gold bag, you just res both your teams and you just oh, yeah. clutch and escape. Oh, absolutely. Hands down. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, you know, especially for, for teams that push heavy, you know, uh, uh, it's back to, I, I am seeing that argument again, Calvin, of like, hey, Respawn, when the fuck are you going to give us an actual support character? Because yeah. like you said, Gibby's basically support. Yes. Uh, Loba's lifted, listed as support, even though she has no, not no, not a single heal. Like, Watson's more support than Loba is, you know? <laughs> yeah. So hope, hopefully you're right. They take some time to reset, and hopefully they take some time to give us an actual fucking healing character. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, nice. I will. I would fucking... I would fucking love it. But, you know, hot take. Lifeline is good. Stop bitching. Yes, she doesn't have the rest shield. Uh, listeners, people of the internet, denizens of the Outlands, whatever you want to fucking call yourselves, fellow legends. She's good. Give it a shot. I have friends that I've been playing this game with for years that are like, yo, like, I, can you actually play Lifeline not caustic? And I don't get yeah. mad about it. It actually makes me kind of happy. <laughs> yeah. No, no, it's true. So, like, I've, I've always I've always respected Lifeline. And, and she got nerfed because her her red shield was too strong it was too strong like i remember i had a game once where i went down and we were right in i went down because there was a rampart behind a shield shooting at us and with with her with her um sheila out and that's how i got dropped but we had a lifeline on the team she jumps down pops the has gold bag pops a res on me and i'm up you know like in front of a sheila you know, like, and we ended up winning that game because of the lifeline shield res was protecting me from the res. Mm-hmm. And like, it's, that's how strong it is. What I'm, is what I'm trying to say. How strong it was is what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah. But like, like even now still though, like the, the fact that like 
you can down somebody, you can down somebody on a team, and then uh, by the time you get there, they're back up, mm-hmm. you know? And, and the entire time you've been trying to push, you've been getting shot at by two people, yeah. you know? Yeah. Like, like I played, I played yesterday, and um, I was, I was playing Mirage, and um, uh, one of my teammates went down, and I rezzed him, and I had a gold bag, but like I rezzed them. Um, but in that time, the team started to push, and yeah. you know, so it was two people out, one person shooting. But fortunately, you know, we we ended up winning that fight. Um, but like, you know, like the fact that other characters are are completely removed during a res is so huge that lifeline can return fire while you're getting picked up. You know, yeah. like that that's so huge, and I don't think people give lifeline enough respect uh in in that regard so yeah no yeah. I, I think lifeline's great like i said like i said if they wanted the game to be boring right they've only put two characters in the game right they would yeah. only put two guns in the game yeah. two characters two guns and they would be boring as fuck but there's a reason why there's what fucking 20 characters to pick you know there's a reason why there. Right. It's because they're all right, good at friends. different things they're all yeah. good at different things so pick pick a different character anyway um what are your thoughts on lifeline do you think do you think she needs a buff do you think uh, um, her res show should come back? Let us know on uh, social media accounts at Pixbus Podcast. Email us at pixelpodcast.gmail.com. Actually, don't don't tell us if you think if you think the res show needs to come back because you're all going to say, "Yeah, idiots." So so <laughs> don't, so don't don't tell us what you think about that. But everything yeah. else, everything yeah. else, I want to know. Um, so speaking ah. of speaking of meta, shaking up the meta. Uh, season 13 has been a very interesting season for ranked. The new rank system, the new point system has caused uh, a lot of people a lot of frustration, especially with the first split with how uh, unforgiving the buy-in uh, system points for ranked. Um, it was so uh, hard that they actually reduced the buy-in for ranks by 10 points across the board. Yep. Um, for example, plat four was 51 points, but now it's 41 points. Um, and and a lot of people have been getting uh, very frustrated with the new system because it's not as um, it's not as uh, aggressive as it used to be. Correct. Back in the back in the day or pr- prior seasons, you can third party, you get an assist. You get third party, you get a kill. You know, you can get all these points by by being a third party, by being an asshole, running in, getting a bunch of points. You know, yada yada yada. But now. Because of the new the new point system, if you get ten kills at the start of the game, you can still die and be negative, uh, yeah. depending on depending on how you placed um, in in the game overall. Um, yeah. So dropping hot isn't the most viable thing to do at the moment. It, it, the game is now requiring people to play slower, make smarter rotates, be more defensive um, yeah. to get those points uh, yeah. that you that for placement, but uh, an adverse reaction to that has been people are now getting more frustrated that they can't 20 bomb ranked uh, at the beginning of a game and get the points that they used to uh, used to get. And it's causing a lot of frustration and people are mm-hmm. acting funny about it. Joe, you got any thoughts on this? Well, yeah, like I uh, man, I played ranked the other night um, again. I am going to say this. It was a cross flat lobby, so I did it to myself. Mm-hmm. Um I always have more trouble in cross plat lobbies mm-hmm. than I do in in in, in console lobbies. You know sure. what I mean? But you know, the, you're right, man. Like, and these people that are so used to the twenty bombs, they get frustrated, and all they do is they push, they push, they push, they push. Mm-hmm. There's also an influx of people on PC. Yep. There's also an influx of uh, cheaters, and there's also an yeah. influx of Call of Duty people. Yeah. Now, I love Call of Duty for a few reasons. Sure. We don't talk about it on the show very much. We all grew up playing that game. But yeah. Call of Duty, I'm sorry, does not take strategy to win. It doesn't. You just have to be the most cracked. Dude. Yes, absolutely. You know, it's or funny. Do, or, was, or, or do that. I was talking to King yesterday and, and, yeah. and my friend King, and he uh, is a veteran Call of Duty player just like us. Mm-hmm. Um, he played with he played with a ton of really good people. He was very close in the in the Call of Duty community with a lot of really good people. Um, and we were talking yesterday, and he was like, "Man, like I'm just not good at this game, Apex." And I was like, "I was like, you know, like even the pros, a- even the Apex pros, and like like Shroud, you know, 
is is on record saying, "Oh, I forgot how hard Apex Legends is." You know, yeah. uh, like Shroud of all people, Mister Fucking Precision Aim himself. Um, yeah. And uh, he's like, he's like, yeah, man. He's like, you know, Call of Duty, no problem. He goes, I could one before a whole team right now, you know, in Call of Duty, like with with no no issue at all. He's like, but this game, like, I can barely win my one on one fights, you know. Um, and he goes, yeah. he goes, he like, it's it's a different game. Um, uh, but yeah, like, but I don't, does he listen to the show? He doesn't listen to the show. Well, he's probably one of those those jackasses that fucking can one before a team because he like fucking goes prone mid fight. Like a no, he doesn't. He doesn't do prone. No, King King uh, watching watching King play Call of Duty, uh, like is is actually it's like magic. It's like watching like a chef oh, cook. Oh, that's great! Chef cook. I love that. He's, I love that. He's really good at the game. Um and uh, but like, but it's like you said though. He's Call of Duty. You just got to be really fucking cracked. You mm-hmm. have to be really good with your shots. Really good with your movement and like yep. very very good map awareness right and understand what's 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 around the corner and like using your all your uh, gear and stuff like that but call of duty is like a whole nother or not but apex is like a whole nother fucking beast yeah. right it's a different yeah. game yeah. um but yeah like that's what you were saying yeah yeah well my point what i wanted to make there's a lot of us that are mediocre on here uh that listen to the show i hope that's the whole fucking point of the show you know is is we're for you guys uh and me especially calvin being the more skilled of the two of us you know what I mean? Like, I was so frustrated the other night because it's just like, just like we just fought demons after demon after demon after demon team, and it's like, but then what I realized is these teams are pushing us, wiping us, and then just immediately getting wiped because yeah. they have no strategy, they have no map awareness, they're just mm-hmm. doing the the kill the kill push like the kill yeah. the kill race, so to speak. Yeah. You know, don't be discouraged. By that i had a night and i was really discouraged i actually haven't touched apex since that night mm-hmm. you know what i mean so yeah i was a little discouraged i've also been busy i have a job i have life yeah. you know what i mean but like you know don't forget apex is a strategy game a lot yeah. of people don't like watching algs because it's too slow or this or that right but you got to wait for the right time to make the right play with the right team comp yeah you know, that's why we always say you know like we have friends that have i call it legend add you know, mm. Muffin, if, you, if you're if you listening to this episode, fuck you. I'm talking about you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I know that if I'm having a bad night, generally, I will improve my playing and my score by switching back to Caustic. And it's what I'm sure. strong with. But when I do that, I have to remind my team, hey, I'm Caustic. We need to hold valleys. We need to hold trucks. Let's yeah. push into buildings. Let's not be scared. We don't need to operate like we're a fast, aggressive team. Sure. You know, strategy is important. Like, yeah, I get frustrated with the crack demons, but those crack demons, you know, they're they're the ones that are going to be stuck in that rank because they mm-hmm. don't know how to play the game. Right. You know, so so I'm sure there's other people feeling this frustration. There has to be. I know I'm not the only one, you know, but but and that's but that's the beauty of that's why I love Apex. Like you said, like Shroud said, Apex is a hard game. It's a hard game. I'm not a skilled FPS person. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But when I when it comes to like rotations and strategies and stuff like that, I feel like that's where I excel and that's where I shine. And that's why I love playing Apex because of it. Right. So it's just like, it's just this, just, and it's just gotten worse. Like you said, with the rank split and how mm-hmm. things have changed. And like, now there's the people that are like, oh, well, like, I'm just going to keep being aggressive. It's like, homie, that don't, that don't work for you. Right. But then every once in a while you do run into the, the three stack where two of the dudes are just like, you know, I mean, like I, 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 I legitimately, it has been four seasons since I felt like the, the unpleasantness I felt the other night playing this game. Right. Like, because it was just like I've just never seen teams die, to, like get dead that fast. Yeah. Like to the to the point where it's really hard to not accuse so many people of cheating. It's really right. that difficult. Right. No. So like la- yesterday I was playing, and um, landed in Geyser and we looted the area. And then I heard shooting down at Lava City, like Mad Maggie or or what's uh, the big mod? Big mod. Big mod in L- Lava City, and there was shooting in uh like lava siphon right that the middle area mm-hmm. yeah. um and the, like newer area yeah the newer area that's yeah, a death that's pit awesome. that's a death pit don't push their early game don't because you're going to die yeah. you're, you're you're gonna go there you're gonna get into a fight and if you win that fight five other teams are gonna show up don't yeah. go there it's stupid it's dumb you're wasting yeah, your unless, time. unless you can hold the upper command center in the middle that's the yeah. only way you can maybe last a little bit yeah you can maybe last a little bit yeah yeah but even then like you're gonna get pushed so anyway we're 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 there and um i hear shooting down south so i'm like i ping south i'm like i ping south so that 
my team knows I'm going down there. Right. Wait, you I pinned? Pinged. You communicated? I communicated. I'm so, I'm so proud of you, Kelvin. And then the guy pinged fucking and after I pinged going south, he pinged going west to Lava Siphon, whatever the fuck that city that area is called. And no, you lava siphon. You said it right. Okay, so then I was like, I, I, he pinged that way. I was like, I was like, no, let's go this way because I was already up the fucking hill. I was like, no, let's go this way. I'm already going this way. He goes, well, and I and I was like, and I pinged this way too. He goes, well, I pinged this way. I was like, I was like, get good. And then, <laughs> so then, so then I I kept that's running. What, oh my god, that's when you fucking used it. <laughs> well, I used it later too. I was I was Watson, by the way. And um, oh my god. And I'm going down there, and uh. And we go down because there's fighting down there. I could just see you like in a low voice, like get good. And then you just start good. moving. Yeah. Like I could just see you do it. God damn it. And so we, we get to so we get down to Lava City and the fight yeah. just ended. And the teammate, like while we were going there, he was like, get good. He's like, I'm plat one. You're like plat four. He's like, he's like, do you get to plat four just by camp? They talking shit the entire time we get there. He's like, when you KP, blah, blah, blah. And like it's the beginning of the fucking game. You don't need KP at the beginning of the game. So we get there, and the fight just ended. And he goes in and he kills the the, the last team that was remaining because right? they were fucking weak, right? Yeah. So he got his three KP, and I was like, I was like, you got your three KP. Are you happy now? And he's like, cool. Oh, well, uh, oh well, next time maybe you guys should do something. Like, bitch, like shut up, right? Um, so um, we're sitting there. And we're looting, we're getting all our loot, we're using replicator, doing the beacon and stuff like that. And then he's like, he's like, so is this how you guys got to plat four just by hanging out? I was like, I was like, it's the new rank system, dude. This is how you have to play. He goes, so I guess you're right. I guess you're right. And then uh um uh what you call it? I had put down a Watson pylon and uh he's like, What's this? He's like, What's the that he goes, that health bar on the pylon? Like, is that how long? I was like, I was like, no, no, it it, it it heals 150 shields now, but it lasts indefinitely. It's always going to be there. He goes, oh, I didn't know that. And I was like, yeah, get good. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, like, we ended up getting second place that game. The dude had, like, six or seven KP by the end of the game. And, yeah. like, but, like, shut the fuck up. Like, shut yeah. the fuck up. Like, why are you why are you saying things like this at the beginning of the game? Why are you in a rush to go die? At the beginning of the game, yeah, play as a team. What is what is fucking what the new character say? We're a team or something like whatever. You know, yeah. we're supposed to be together. You know, like like that was a direct call out to all you motherfucking solo pushers out there. Oh, play dude, I, I I reposted. I think it's on our Instagram. I think it was, or I sent it to the chat last night. I think it was Tanner Slays that guy or whatever. Mm -hmm. He like literally like made a TikTok where he clips it and she goes, "Oh, of course I've got your back. We're a team." And he literally goes, "Listen, motherfuckers, yeah, <laughs> that's respawn talking to you. Stop yeah. leaving me. Yeah, <laughs> stop pushing a team one v three, playing octane, dying, and then acting yeah. like it's my fault because yeah. you're not playing as a team." And I was like, "Exactly, oh my no, it's God. like it, it's, it's true. No, it is true. true. It's like um, it's like what Andrew said uh on our episode uh, with you know his and her life. Um, oh, yeah. Andrew said, you know." You're better off playing as a team, even if they're not good. Even yeah. if your teammates are good, use them as a meat shield. You're yep. better off playing as a team, sticking with your team. Yeah. And so, like, you know, the guy, the guy was in a rush to go die, you know, uh, at Lava Siphon. And because he followed me begrudgingly, but because he followed me, we got to second place. Yeah, and exactly. and he got a, a a good amount of points by the end of the game, over a hundred something points because he had like six mm -hmm. KP, second place. You know what that's I mean? True. Like that's true. Like shut the fuck up, play as a team. Stop being a fucking selfish asshole. Just play as the team, and you're gonna do better. Even if it means even if it means playing slower, you know. Even if it means yeah. that your teams like <clears throat> one of the things that you said that uh, that I've that stuck with me, and it's actually changed the way that I play with people is we were playing and you were looting you were taking a really long time to loot and you were and i was like joel like like come on hurry the fuck up you're taking forever to fucking loot and then you're like you said calvin i'm not as good as you i need better attachments for my gun to play better and i was like that's true like wow. not 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 just because like you know like oh he i am better than him but like it's true some people just need that little bit more yeah. to play better. So why would I rush into this fight that I'm so eager to get to 
when Mm -hmm. my team has a handicap, right? Mm -hmm. Why would I do that? It makes more sense for me to wait until you have the best fucking gun that you can have uh, and and then push that team. Early game, no. Early game, we all have shit gear. Let's just fucking go. Exactly, exactly. Right? But like later on... Let's take let's take a little bit to loot. Let's let's yeah. make sure we're we're fucking good, and then we can go. Well, it's like like I mean, two of the things that annoy me the most is is if, uh, you know I always have a havoc basically on me at right. all point in time. Now I keep running with these people, where I'm like, yo, I need a turbocharger. Yo, I need a turbocharger. Yo, I need a turbocharger. And then we're running, and then all of a sudden they're like, I pick up a bunch of energy ammo, and they're like, hey, yo, can I get that energy ammo? I have a devotion, and I'm like, well, guess what? I can hit start. You can hit start at any time, and you can see right. your teammates load out. Or like tab news flash. PC people. Yeah. Oh yeah, tab. Like news flash. You can see what your fucking teammates are using. If I see that all both my teammates are using heavy guns, I will not pick up a heavy gun. Right. I'm not exactly. a dummy. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, I'll run an R3. But if I see both my other teammates are using a light, they're probably both using R3s or R9s, which means they need a shit ton of light. Mm-hmm. So I won't run that. Like be Especially smart. Especially the like, fucking pay attention. guns. Yeah, just pay pay attention to what your fucking teammates are using. Like well, pay I hate, what they're doing. I hate, yeah, I hate when. I go a whole game, or like say sometimes I'll be in that scenario and then I'll end up being the last one alive. I wipe the team and then I go in my teammates' boxes and he had a turbocharger the whole time. And I'm like, bro, I was looking for this. And he's like, oh, well, I was looking for it. And I'm like, dude, like, yeah, like, like if I'm asking for it, I'm good with it. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, not I, even I'm that. not saying, not even that, not even that. Like the fact that, like, like I, I get it. The havoc's fucking mm-hmm. everywhere right now. And, mm-hmm. and, it is. And, it is. And the turbocharger is not right. No, no, but, it's not. But, why would you, like I said, why would you handicap your teammates? You know, and, and handicap teammates means it either means hoarding gear, right? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, you're fucking, I'm trying to think of somebody, you're Octane and you keep the gold bag, but you have yeah. a lifeline on your team or a Gibby on your team, right? Yeah. Um, like, like shit like that, or like, like obviously stuff like that, but like also the handicap in the sense that your team isn't ready to push. So don't yeah. push. Yeah, you know, so 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 that I, that's I, I mean we we kind of kind of like got a little yeah. on a tangent there, but like well well, my, well and the number two thing I'm gonna continue the fucking tangent I don't care <laughs> the le- the 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 person that is the most injured should get the best shield I don't care if you killed all three people on the fucking team like I cannot tell you how many times I've had bad RNG and yeah. I have a white shield and I'm completely broke. And then I go into a box and someone that has a purple shield that's only missing one little tick mm-hmm. shield swaps. And then I, because I'm, I either get sniped because I'm in the box with nothing to grab sure. or like I die because then I then, then have the weakest shield. Like, I mean, that's, that's, but, but my point is pay attention to what your teammates need. You know right. what I mean? Like, oh, it's yeah, not, yeah, yeah, no, like, it, like that, that's where I was going with that. It's not yeah. like a, a dibs thing or who did or didn't do the kills, but like pay attention. Like, yeah. like if, you know, I love, like, I love playing with you because when you snipe, if you, when you get to purple, if, if you have a teammate that has a white, you're like, Hey, give me your fucking shield. Yeah. And you swap because you know that it's not going to take you very many shots to get that, that shield to blue sure. and then to purple, you know, and I, sure. like, just, it's like, take the extra three seconds to use your fucking brain and be a good teammate. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Like, like the, who gets the gear? I don't care. I don't care who gets what. Like after we yeah. kill a team and we're all looting the boxes, I, I, I'm like, if you want to take everything in this box, go right the fuck ahead. You know what I mean? Like if yeah. you if you really want it that bad, take it, dude. I don't mm-hmm. care. You know if it makes you ha- if it makes you happy. You know what I mean? Like just fucking yeah. do it, right? Um, but but like but but like but to your point, pay attention to what your team's doing. Yeah. Pay attention to what your team needs. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I, I will, I will have white shield. I'll go in a box. I'll see a blue shield. I see my teammate running up. He has a white shield too. I'll, I won't even take the shield. I'll be like, here you go. Mm-hmm. Like, I won't even say anything because I know yep. that they're going to take, they're going to want it. So take it. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't care. Well, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm a nice one, th- one, one thing I do is that I, like, I always play a fortified character. Almost always, you know, this. Mm-hmm. So if I have a white shield, I'll tell my friends like, Hey, grab that blue. And they're like, are you sure? And I'm like, dude, I take 15% less damage than you shut the yeah. fuck up and take the shield. Yeah, you know, you yeah, know, I, play, um, I play with King a lot, and I'm like, like I forget who I was. I was Mirage, and he yeah. was like Seer Newcastle. or something. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, and and he and he found a gold bag, but I was like too far away or just far enough away. He's a like, gold bag here. I was like, take it. He's like, what? You're Mirage. I'm like, just take the fucking bag, dude. Like, I don't care. 
Yeah, <laughs> like, I, that's why. I don't care. Like, uh, eventually, sure, we could switch. But ultimately, yeah. I really don't care. You know, like, mm-hmm. just take mm-hmm. what you need. You know, do what you do what you want to do. Yeah. You know, I, but but pay attention to your team. Yeah. You know, and you know what? I'm better, on the I'm note, better than or, King. I'm better than King. So maybe he needs more ammo. Maybe he needs more space for more ammo or he needs more healing, right? Yeah. I can make do without, like, he'll ping a blue shield and it's, like, across the map. And I'm like, I'm not going to go pick that up. He's like, why? Well, you need a blue shield. You can't go into a fight with a white shield. I'm like, yes, you can. You get a blue shield with 150 damage. Yeah, you know, it's like, easy. That's, like, two like, clips. Like, not even, like, one clip. You know what I mean? Well, like, yeah, depending on what you're using, yes. But, yeah. but, but that's what I'm saying. Like, like. Pay attention, just I don't know. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna and, and you know what? While, while we're on it, uh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna throw some shade right now. Okay, fuck Dan. Um, no, no, I'm gonna look at the camera when I say this. If you play on PlayStation, don't be that person. Mm. Listen, I don't want to bring up the console wars on here. Everybody can talk about how Xbox is filled with with Neanderthals and toxic people and all this stuff. Yeah. Every time I play with someone on PlayStation, Calvin. Every time. Every game, and I'm not exaggerating this. Okay, they don't respect my ping. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. It's not PC people. Well, sometimes it's like the douchebag sweaty PC people. people. But yeah. but without fail, all of my friends that play on PlayStation, all <laughs> and I'm always like, bro, are you serious? They're like, what? I'm like, I know you can see it, dude. Like, yeah, like yeah. Come on, come on, come on, <laughs> come on. Like, don't be that person. Anyways, anyways, so. So we went over on that last tangent a little bit. That's uh, how to be a good teammate. Part three. We've done a couple of those, We've done a couple um, of those. you know, so uh, Calvin, I will we'll go into great detail on this next episode. Yes. I just want a one word answer from you right now. Yeah. Is seer a problem in the game? Seer is a problem. I agree. I agree. Seer is a problem. We're talking about the next uh, episode. Next episode, Pex Pals people. That's what we're going to get into. Um, you know, we went over a little longer than Calvin. And I wanted to. Um, I am going to leave you with, uh, we got Fusey's Motherload music yeah. album picks of the week, and then we'll, uh, we'll sign the fuck off. What's Everybody, thanks for listening. I'm, uh, Joel Cupcake Worldwide. No, 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 Just... what's your, don't, don't do the sign up. Tell your music shit. No, I know. I'm going to say I'm Joel Cupcake Worldwide. You can, you can Google me at Joel Cupcake and I'll pop up. And my music pick, but before I was so rudely interrupted for, Shut the for fuck once, up. Just tell it. Just say it. Is, uh, th- there's a band from Canada called Structures. They recently released a new EP. Um, it is called none of the above that oh. came out, um, at the, at the end of 2021 Calvin, if you haven't heard this, you would actually love it. You should check okay. it out. Okay. It's, they're, they're one of the, they're kind of like a North laney, like, like genty metal core, but they do singing and screaming. That's my vibe. I know you, you, you'd like it a lot. So, so the EP is called none of the above by the band structures. Uh, there's some, some actually, I actually know the guys, there's some good friends from the great white North Oh, yeah. Canada. Yeah. What about you, Calvin? What, what's your how's your mu- what's your musical uh, what's your musical taste tickling you with this week? I'm staying in the, I'm staying in the metalcore lane uh, with it. with uh, probably one of the most famous metalcore bands that were Uh-oh. around in, in the in the in the in the in the prime time of metalcore. Uh, the Devil Wears Prada, the only the only actual Christian metalcore band that fucks, um, mm. and they're what what? No, nothing, nothing. Just just continue. Okay. Anyway, I disagree with that statement, but continue. No. Okay, listen. There's a lot of good, like uh, under oath, whatever the hell, right? But, but like they they have good, they have really great songs. All their music's good, but the Devil Wars Prada fucking fucks, dude. They're 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 so fucking heavy, and like like in the in the, all the right ways, you know what I mean? Anyways, yeah. Their album, uh, with roots above and branches below, mm, is so fucking good. And I got, I just got re- recently reintroduced to it because I saw a TikTok on it, or uh, not on it, but like someone had a, a music of theirs on there. And the yeah. album, is, the album is so good. I forgot how good it was. So I've been listening to it a lot lately. So yeah, The Devil Was Prada with Roots Above, above and Branches Below is my music pick of the week. Perfect. Thank you, everybody, well, for listening that. to us uh, on this much longer than <laughs> anticipated episode. Uh, I am Calvin. This is uh, Joel Cupcake. Check us out on uh, our respective Twitch accounts. Um, But also uh, check us out on social medias. You can find me at Calvan Man usually because some there's a dude in Australia with the name at Calvan on Twitter. And it makes me angry because he barely uses his account. Um, And so so at Calvan Man on Twitter, Joel Cupcake fucking everywhere. Um, 
uh, I, I've been streaming a lot more, so check me out on Twitch at Calvin. Um, but if you want to talk to the show, not us individually, at Pex Files Podcast, everywhere, every social media account, that's where we are. Email worldwide. Us, worldwide. Email us, uh, Pex Files Podcast at gmail.com. Uh, uh, for any questions, anything you want to talk about, anything you want us to answer, any any questions or whatever the hell, anything, any concerns or whatever, uh, we, we will talk about. It. We'll actually talk about it on our episode. We're actually we're very responsive, so please reach yeah. out on, yeah. on every platform. Um, yeah. with that being said, Joe Cupcake, I think it was a good episode. I think I think it was a great episode, and you, and you want to know what? Not mm. only are the devs listening, Instagram's listening, because I was on the Instagram the other day, and guess what? I got an advertisement for what. That motherfucker Pitbull's playing in our hood soon. Pitbull. Oh my God, dude. Mr. Worldwide. He stole my fucking nickname. <laughs> Thanks, everybody.